Welcome to our demonstration of BDBMS, a database system for supporting scientific data management. BDBMS is currently under development at Purdue University. BDBMS is built on top of PostgreSQL. The main features of BDBMS are annotation management, dependency tracking, non-traditional and novel access methods, and content-based authorization. The focus of this demo is the annotation management feature. Many scientific databases are community-based. There is a pressing need to enable members of these communities to curate and annotate the data at various granularities, such as a single cell, a group of cells, an entire row or column, or even an entire table. Annotation management involves several challenges, such as how to specify the target cells to be annotated how to store and index annotations efficiently, and how to propagate and query annotations efficiently. In the annotation management component, we support adding annotations at various granularities, providing storage optimization techniques, archiving and restoring annotations, and propagating and filtering annotations along with query results. These functionalities are supported through extensions to the SQL language demonstrate the annotation functionalities using Excel, which many scientists prefer to use to explore and visualize their data. We've added two new tabs to the menu bar, namely Database Operations and Annotation Management. The Database Operations tab allows users to connect to the database, refresh or clear the query results, and execute general SQL commands. The annotation Management tab allows users to manipulate annotations interactively. A simple scenario is to select the table name you would like to query. For example, we select the protein table, and then the columns will appear automatically to the right. Then specify the predicates that you would like to include in the query. For example, we will add a simple predicate to the protein ID column. When finished, click the Execute QBE Query button to execute the query. The query answer is displayed on the sheet below and existing annotations are automatically propagated and attached to the data. The yellow box on top of the sheet shows the executed SQL command and which annotation tables are included in the query. Annotations are stored transparently inside annotation tables and propagated with query results at various granularities, such as cell level annotations, which are attached to individual table cells. We also have column level annotations, which are attached to entire columns. Then we have row-level annotations, which are attached to entire rows. The fourth type is table-level annotations. These are attached to the entire table. Now let's add a new annotation. First, select the cells to be annotated. Then, click the Add Annotation button from the menu. Finally, select Annotate Selection. Here we enter the annotation text, for example, A1 and then select the annotation table into which the annotation will be stored. The behavior of the annotation is specified by the three checkboxes below. On aggregation propagate means that the annotation will be propagated even when the query contains aggregation. On update propagate means that the annotation will be attached to the data even if the data itself is modified. Treat as view means that the annotation will be attached to newly inserted tuples if they satisfy the given annotation condition. For this annotation, we will leave all the checkboxes unchecked. Now click the Add Annotation button to add the annotation. The worksheet is then refreshed and the new annotation is attached to the target cells. For efficient storage inside the database, annotations are not stored with the individual table cells. Instead, they are represented as maximum bounding rectangles covering the annotated cells. To visualize how the annotation is stored inside the database, click the Add Annotation button from the menu, and then select Visualize Annotation Coverage. A new form is opened that shows the annotations on the protein table in our example. The annotation A1 that we just added is represented, for example, by two maximum bounding rectangles. Each rectangle covers a set of adjacent cells. You can also highlight the coverage of each rectangle by selecting them in this list.
Now let's demonstrate another functionality supported by BDBMS, which is filtering annotations. Filtering annotations allows users to specify which annotations to propagate along with the query results. To propagate specific annotations, click the Filter Annotation button from the toolbar to open the filter form. Annotations can be filtered by the curator name, the timestamp of the annotation, the annotation value, or the annotation table. Throughout this short demonstration, we presented several annotation management functionalities supported by BDBMS. These operations are translated into extended SQL commands, such as the add annotation command, the archive annotation command, the extended select statement to query and propagate annotations, and the create annotation table command. For more technical details on the BDBMS system, please refer to these references.